So molecular biology is an approach for studying large-scale biological phenomenon at the scale of life's, life's substituent macromolecules. This includes nucleic acids, proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, and the intermediary metabolites that make up these macromolecules. Molecular biology encompasses biochemical, genetic, and informatics techniques for interrogating biological processes. Molecular biology has expanded to include more than just the study of single molecules. In the omics era, molecular biology has, includes genomics, proteomics, and metabolomics, amongst others, that are the large-scale collective characterization and quantification of biological molecules that make up an organism or organisms. Large-scale databases are publicly accessible and can be rapidly searched and analyzed. Sequence genomes and transcriptomes have been a recent focal point because of the easy interconversion of DNA sequence and the primary amino acid sequence of proteins. Large DNA data sets can help us define gene structure. We can infer things such as promoters, regulatory regions, and untranslated parts of transcripts. In the diagram presented here, I have aligned uh, mRNA sequencing data with chromatin amino precipitation of a acetylated histone. This uh, acetylated histone is often associated with open chromatin regions. When I plot the enrichment of this acetylated histone against the aligned transcripts, we can see a enriched peak just upstream of the promoter region, marked in blue, that potentially indicates uh, actively regulated chromatin and the outer boundaries of this regulatory region. Taking the sequence of this gene, I can compare it to many other genes uh, found in other algae species. And looking at the multiple sequence alignment presented in the top figure, we can see regions of high evolutionary conservation with the evolutionary conservation track plotted in yellow underneath, as well as regions where the conservation is not as strong. Highly conserved sequence may mean that these regions are functionally important. We can also use informatics methods to plot phylogenetic trees and infer evolutionary relationships of species based upon their DNA or protein sequences. Molecular biology has developed uh, new tools for manipulating the genomes of organisms. A commonly utilized one is a loss of function mutation, also known as a knockout. This uh, uses DNA modification techniques to mutate or even delete a gene. Knockouts are often used for reverse genetic analysis. That is, we have a gene sequence and then we look for a phenotype of a design mutant. Here we're showing the use of a targeting vector that integrates into the host genome through homologous recombination. So the host vector contains homology arms representing exon 1 and exon 3 of the targeted gene, as well as a neomycin resistance cassette. So this gives resistance to the antibiotic neomycin. Upon integration and recombination into the host genome, the second exon is deleted, generating a non-functional transcript, and the now uh, mutated organisms can be selected for on neomycin-containing media. Another method for manipulating uh, the genomes of algae and other organisms is a gain-of-function mutation, or a knock-in. This is the addition of genetic material. It's often used to either restore the function of a mutant or generate new function. Here we're showing the integration of an expression cassette into the host genome. In this case, it's randomly integrating into the genome in an untargeted manner and generating the expression of a recombinant protein. There are two common transformation methods used in algae. The first one being electroporation. This is usually used for manipulating the nuclear genome. In this case, DNA is mixed with the cells and an electrical potential applied across the cells. This opens up pores in the cell membranes and allows the entry of DNA into the host. Since DNA is negatively charged, it moves toward the positive electrode. The DNA can then exist as a extrachromosomal episomal element or integrate into the host genome. 
Another method used to transform algae is the use of biolistic delivery or a gene gun. This is generally used for chloroplast genome transformation. In this case, compressed helium is used to prepare, uh, is used to propel DNA coated gold beads at high speed into a lawn of algae. The DNA then integrates into the chloroplast genome and the uh, transformed algae can be selected for on antibiotic containing media. Over the years, a new field of biology is developed called synthetic biology. Synthetic biology is primarily focused on the design, modeling, and tuning of biological pathways. If molecular biology answers the question, how does it work? Synthetic biology answers the question of, now that we know how it works, what can we build with it? Molecular biology uh, provides the toolkit, whereas synthetic biology uses these tools to build new systems. Here we're showing an expression vector that we have used to express the, a high value uh, protein of interest. Going left to right, we, we can start with the AR1 promoter. So this is a semi-synthetic promoter that utilizes the promoters of two highly expressed genes, heat shock 70A and RBCS2, to generate high recombinant protein expression. These promoters seem to act synergistically and give much higher expression than either single promoter by itself. In yellow are the 5' prime and 3' prime untranslated regions of RBCS2 that stabilize the mRNA transcript. The integration of this transgene is selected for using the bleomycin resistance cassette. So this antibiotic resistance gene stoichiometrically binds to bleomycin or zeosin antibiotics and leads to the selection of only very high expressing clones. This antibiotic resistance gene itself contains the first intron of RBCS2. This intron itself acts as a transcriptional enhancer. Following this antibiotic resistance gene is a viral self-cleaving peptide. This peptide causes the production of two separate peptides, the antibiotic resistance gene and the gene of interest from a single mRNA. Finally, we have the gene of interest shown in red. This gene of interest has been codon optimized, uh, generating high translational efficiency of our gene of interest. To date, multiple proteins have been made in algae. Many of these have significant commercial or biomedical applications. For example, monoclonal antibodies have been produced in the algae Clemmidomonas reinhardi, and these proteins may have significant application to anti-cancer treatment. Additionally, uh, colostrum proteins, colostrum is the milk that mammals produce in the first few days to weeks after giving birth have been produced. Uh, these include osteopontin, which has been shown to have uh, significant beneficial effects to gut health. We can also express recombinant proteins in algae to construct new biosynthetic pathways. One example of this is the production of patchoulol, which is the major component of patchouli oil. Thanks for uh, viewing this overview of molecular biology and biotechnology 